Hey everyone, Luke Dog here, and welcome back to Middle Earth: Shadow of Mordor. I'm gonna do this mission. The hidden outpost, stocked with the enemy's incendiary weapons, also teamed with other dangerous creatures. He knew he could remove both threats by using one against the other. Forge the legend, the bow, Azkar. Okay, what do we gotta do for this one? What the heck? Enter the cave. Okay. Lure ghouls into the barrows. I cannot climb. Running, 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 running. Good thing I was in this cave earlier, so I kind of know the way. Only detonate five barrels. Dang it, that was more than five. I gotta wait and time my shots better, wait for them to actually surround me, and then blow them up. Let's try this again. Oh, gal dang it. Let's try this again. the one I need? Or did I already get this? Hey, I needed it. Good. Now what? I need... Oh. Seven of the blue star. What was that? Nothing. No. It's nothing. Nothing at all. Exactly. Try this again, and not be an idiot. Come and get me, ghouls! Boom. Ah, damn. 
Dang it! That's two. three just need five left and that should not be a problem here we go oh dang it there we go look at them just Burst into flame. Isn't it glorious? <laughs> there we go. Take this off shot and lay. Stop it. Just because you're late to the party doesn't mean you get to have dessert. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Now what? Let's check out Darg the Vi Darg the Vile. Climbing up. So you practice. Will you be my friend? You oil? Thank you. That's because all our enemies will be running away when they see our might. Sorry. Grab that slide. You're my friend now. Talion doesn't give you a choice. You are his friend or you get killed. He's a nice person like that. Hey, buddy. Dog vile. I'm going to see if I can get an achievement with this one, where you actually help a captain gain a recruitment thing, and then you kill him. See, let's see if this works out for me. Yeah, it's the vile one. Someone peeing. Ew. Or else I will make you squirm in pain. You didn't even wait for him to finish, but okay. I will make a drown of his traitor skin. Time to fly. 
come and open a game, yeah? You can't boss me around. You're dead. I saw something over there. How of Split his skull! Must have been rats. Definitely. Uh, I was hoping for a fight. Almost had him in my embrace. Problem is, it's hard to tell who is his recruit or not. Uh, okay, we get it. We'll join you. Gone! Next time I'll entice him to stay! On to the next. <laughs> You're my playthings now! <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> Small fry. Somebody kill that strong. He's a traitor. Okay. Dog the vile. Now. He's invulnerable to range, apparently. That's not right. Or not. He's invulnerable. He's not invulnerable to stealth. So Come here, you. You're my friend. You're gonna help me. It's a bloody time. You're my friend now. Come here, Berserker. You're mine. Oh, sorry, bud. Oh, ghouls! Get the ghouls! Sorry, bud. Ghouls, you better run! Get him! No, worry about the ghouls. I'm nothing. I'm small fry. What was that noise? Nothing. Probably ghouls. Okay, what was I gonna do? Uh, let's see. Artifact. Uh, 
That'll do nicely. Away! Ooh! Blue star! Athelas! Or as they say in this game, Athelas. The ancient Numenorians were enamored by Kingsfoil, or Athelas, and its presence in Mordor is no great mystery. The Numenorians brought it with them when they assaulted Barad-dûr as part of the War of the Last Alliance in Middle-earth's Second Age. The blue-flowered plant has thrived on the continent ever since, and is now employed by remedy makers in a variety of therapeutic potions. More importantly, the commoner can use Athelas without any knowledge of herb lore by chewing the flower petals to create a numbing agent to apply to sore muscles or wounds. This is also the plant that Aragorn used in order to help Frodo after he got stabbed by a Morgul blade. Remember he said, we need to find Athelas. Athelas? King's foil. It's just a weed. This actually... Yeah, this appears in both The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. They used Athelas to help... Keeley, was it? In the second film? And then Frodo in the Fellowship of the Ring, when he met Arwen. Okay, what was my rune? Worm's Tooth. 58% chance to recover 25 health on a head explosion kill. Nah, I think I'm just gonna stick to the epic runes. Typically with me, I usually just wait to find a plant to heal up. Okay, moving on. We get to look for King's Foil. Boy, there's the Ranger! Wait. Get after him! No! No, leave me alone. Go away. Here you are. What are you? Torn banner. Ungle have set upon and partially consumed this crimson banner representing the Dark Lord Sauron. This is not merely a symbolic act. The oversized children of Shelob are organized uh, are organized against the Uruks, forming raiding parties to bring down what they consider to be invaders from their into their lands. Whatever truce may have existed between the factions has now ended. Damn. They got the whole raiding party and ate the flag. See the whips! Spiders, filthy creatures, likely coming up from the valley down south. We should clear it out. You should shut your big yuck. Don't nobody come back from that place. Wonder if they're working for Sheila. Sauron used to feel you, and I guess she don't remember whose pet she is. It might be time for a reminder. Spiders. Some kind of spawn of Ungoliant. These spiders are crawling out of the walls. They have an evil look. The children of Ungoliant. They devour light in their endless hunger. Remember, Ungoliant was the spider that Mor Mor that helped Morgoth destroy the trees of the Valar. What should I do next? Oh, the Forge Tower is way over here. Oh no, there's one right there. I am... where am I? Oh, I'm up here.
I'm gonna go to this forge tower and then I'll probably call it. And we go this way. Off we go across the valley of Nern, running fast into the sun. Looking for a vile caragor and some athalas because it is fun. Fort Morn. Fort Morn is the hub of the main trading route of southern Mordor, connecting Tharband in the west with Nargoth to the north and the eastern guard along the Cond Road. It is a staging post for the slaves building Sauron's war machine and also holds the food to feed Mordor's growing armies. Off we go. Here we are. Whoa. Sound. Why you cut out sometimes? My ancestral doom I must push away with light. And since it's close, I'll get this artifact. Do you hear that? What do we got here? What stone? Among the millions of volcanic rocks to be found within the mountainous borders of Mordor, this stone is unique. It is a dwarven whetstone, used to sharpen axes, knives, and swords to a keen edge that will cut through even the toughest Uruk armor or the stony skin of a troll. It's the keen edge what cuts the mountain, as the saying goes. Whoever the stone's user was, he was most thorough in his efforts. Keep sharpening. You've got to hone your axe until its edge can split one of your beard hairs in two. Oh, it's sharp enough to kill a growl. Now pass me the pipe. Sharp enough ain't what the hunt's about, little brother. You've got to learn to respect the hunt. A keen blade for a clean kill. Without respect for the beast, we are no better than the orcs. Now, let's give her a taste. For Durin, give a dwarf fair warning when you yank hairs from his beard. Look at these, Torvin. <laughs> Split the hair in two. There's hope for you yet. It's kind of nice how you, through these artifacts, you get to kind of see Torvin's relationship with his brother. Also helps with his backstory too when you think about it. That dwarf knows no fear. I don't know if he's brave or stupid. Or both. He has no fear of death. But there are many worse things than death waiting in Mordor. Is there anything good you can say about Mordor, Celebrimbor? Like, Nern! It's so. Fertile and lush. That's something positive. But anyway, I'm gonna end the episode there. If you liked this video, let me know in the comments. If you really liked it, press that cute little like button. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Luke Dog, and I'll see you next time.